Hey there, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, subscribe, and share? I would really appreciate it. Now let's get on with the demo. Today we're going to be working on some altered paper clips with mini envelopes. And I have a bunch of them here already made up and they're just adorable. Um, not really my idea, but it's a whole bunch of different ideas kind of put together in one tutorial. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, but they're just very sweet, very cute to give um, out as gifts or to share um, with other people. And to write a little note of encouragement, you can even have them as a lunchbox note or something along those lines. And so a few things that you're going to need for these are um, some beads. And I have just a mixture of different butterfly beads. There's some flowers and stuff, just whatever you have on hand. And some paper, of course. Um, I actually... Uh, tend to go towards these neutral shades, but for this I'm gonna go a little bit colorful because my beads are pretty colorful So I'm gonna use this kind of crazy paper here um, To do these I'll also do some neutral ones just because I can't help it um, Some sort of a punch so that you can make a, a closure like this one I just happen to pick a heart because I like to write a little love note and, uh, but it could be a flower or a butterfly or anything like that. And then for the little dangly charm, you can either have charms or here's my beading stash. Um, you need some of these. These are called eye pins. I'm gonna show you how to use them. Um, they have a little head, um, not eye pins, I'm sorry, head pins. They have a head on the end of them. This is an eye pin and that's what you can use to attach a charm. They have the little, the little eye on them so there's that one but eye pins are for the charms head pins are for beads and I already have some made up here you can see how um, that's an eye pin that the little dangle is dangling from so whatever you have uh, you can use but we're gonna use some head pins here which I'll grab and show you how to make the charm um, at the end because we're gonna concentrate on making the envelope first you also need a paper trimmer, uh, whatever kind you have, or a pair of scissors will do. It's just faster on a paper trimmer. Um, I have cut out some strips so that we can go a little bit faster. And the strips just right about one inch, if you can see. And there's no real rhyme or reason to the size of it. Um, what you need is for it to fit um, onto your paper clip, uh, the long piece here so that's about an inch you can go bigger you can actually go a little smaller I have all different sizes well maybe I have about an inch I guess this one's a little bit bigger though so that's like an inch and a quarter so you can you can use different sizes I go about an inch and so you can just trim the paper right down and then I trim it to this size, which is right about three inches if you are interested. So anyway, let's go on with how to make the tiny little envelope. Um, super easy. What you're going to do is you're gonna take your three inch by one inch paper. You're gonna fold the top in half, but not, not uh, too much. You're just gonna give it a little pinch here just to crease it. So you can find the center mark. Then you're going to fold this down. Oops, like a paper airplane a little bit. Now sometimes that doesn't fold all that great. Um, I personally don't care, but I know some of you are meticulous on that. Yes, that one looks very wobbly there. Okay, um, good enough for me. And if you want to, you can just give it a little bit of glue here and that will help to keep it down. You don't actually don't have to glue that down, but I like to glue it down so it doesn't open. Okay, it, it looks um, not even at all here, but when you fold it over as an envelope, you're not gonna really be able to tell. So 
Um, this envelope idea came to me from Treasure Books. I've listed her um, subscriber name um, on several of my other videos, but I just love what she has to offer. And so she's been making these little envelopes for junk journals, but I wanted to add that onto a paper clip. So that's from Treasure Books. And so I wanna give credit where credit is due. Oh, okay, before I move on too, too far, um, what you may wanna do is just kind of eyeball it and um, give it a crease. So that's the top of your envelope. And then whatever is left, you just kind of divide that into half. So, so it, it ends up being like about an inch, an inch, and an inch. And there's your cute little envelope already done. So that was super fast. And then what you're going to do is choose a paper clip. I got these from Five Below for a buck, but you can get them at the Dollar Tree as well. I'm gonna just pick a green one, just be, okay, well, all of these came out, so, um, maybe a blue one, since the blue ones wanna come out. And you're going to feed your envelope on the long end here, so you just, whichever way, it kinda doesn't matter. There we go, and that's it. There's your envelope paper clip. If you wanna stop there, that's not a bad place to end. But what I like to do is go a little bit further um, and I like to just put a little, a little closure and I just have a coordinating color here and a hole punch. So there we go. If you want to, you can um, kind of do a little bit of stamp um, edging on the side. You don't have to. I don't know if you can even tell what I did. It just makes it look more wrinkled, I guess. And then um, one of the junk journaling um, people introduced me to art glitter. It's actually not glitter. It's to um, it's an adhesive for glitter, I suppose. And um, it's awesome because it has this super tiny edge to it and um, you can close it with a pin. And so what it does is it gives you very um, good line for stuff like this where you have to be precise. That's what I'm looking for. It's a fine line glue. And then you have to make sure you put your pin back, otherwise this expensive bottle is going to dry up on you. And yes, it's kind of on the pricey side. That little bottle is like, I don't know, eight, $8 or something like that. I just got it on Amazon. And um, so then you end up with this little flap going inside. Make sure you don't glue it. And kind of just put it at the edge here so you can tuck it in. That's it. So there's your closure. And now for the bead part. So you will take your head pin that I um, talked about before. You can purchase these on um, at any craft store. By the way, all my beads and my paper are from Hobby Lobby. And let's see, I'm gonna pick a pink butterfly, I think, to go with my pink heart. And you just, um, because it's a bead, uh, that's why it's a head. It comes to a head, so your bead's not gonna fall off. And then I'm going to just do, make it super simple. Put another bead and one more. Okay, so one, two, three beads. I don't even know if I like that color combo. I don't. I'm gonna put a purple one on top. That's a little better. And then you bend it at an angle a 90 degree angle. And what you're going to need are these um, round um, kind of needle nose plier type of things. They're beading pliers. And you grab that edge on the very end and you just turn towards you. And it's going to make a little loop. If you can see that. You have your um, thing up as a charm and then you're just gonna feed this onto this paper clip. And you have a little dangle with an envelope. So that's it, that's how you use that. And now I'm in a junk journal. I'm gonna get all these out of the way. So here's my junk journal that I've been working on. 
and I'm um, just going to try and I think I have a spot here. I'm going to do a flip through at another video and give you a chance to kind of see what I have. I have some coupons and a Valentine's Day card from my daughter. So I'm just going to take this and um, the top you can't clip. So obviously it's going to go into the bottom piece. So that top is just going to sit there. And there you have it. Cute charm and an altered paper clip that you can actually open up and write on. So I hope that was helpful. And I have a couple other paper clips that I'll show in another demo. And they're um, kind of similar where I'm gonna just add a few more charms and you can round that out. And I'll have another um, one to show you those. And if you wanna check out my other one on an even more simple paper clip, it's this tasseled um, anthropology type of a paper clip. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Happy crafting.